My name is Ravi Correa. I'm the founder president of the Sri Lanka Wildlife Conservation Society, which I founded in 1995 uh, with the sole uh, purpose of uh, setting up an organization to develop a new model, sort of a new paradigm for sustainable conservation. Human elephant conflict today defines the relationship between people and elephants, mostly because both are competing for the same resources, which is land. A growing human population and their need for land and agriculture development has encroached onto traditional elephant habitat. Over 100 years ago, there were 20,000 elephants in Sri Lanka. Today, the population is less than 4,000. Every year, between 150 to 200 elephants are killed due to human-elephant conflict. About 60 people are killed by elephants. About 3,000 homes get destroyed. And the total crop damage per year is estimated to be 10 million US dollars. Today, the relationship between people and elephants is a paradox because in one hand the Asian elephant is a venerated cultural icon as well as a religious symbol both by Hindus and the Buddhists but then on the other hand the elephant is this robe that comes in the night and destroys everything that is precious to rural farmers including their lives it's confusing in a sense because on one hand they have to venerate the elephant but on the other hand they have to treat it as an enemy. And this is the emotional conflict, the psychological conflict. The idea behind sustainable conservation was to make it more open and participatory for local communities that normally have to bear the cost of living with nature, living with wildlife, to see a tangible benefit for, from wildlife conservation efforts. For the public who are concerned about Asian elephant conservation and who want to uh, contribute to its conservation, uh, it's not only that they can make a donation to our efforts, they can come down to Sri Lanka and work on projects, actually contributing their time, their knowledge, their talents to our uh, projects. As more people get involved in it, more people start to contribute to addressing these issues, more progress we can make.